So we have weighed out 0.234 grams of our mystery alum. And we're gonna put this in a 150 millimeter, milliliter beaker. You can see it's a nice white solid. And to this, we're going to add first 25 milliliters of distilled water. So reading my graduated cylinder, I have 25.0 milliliters of water. I'm adding. I'm swirling the beaker to um, help the solid crystals dissolve. All right, our mystery alum has dissolved in the 25 milliliters of water. Now I'm going to use, um, let's see if I can get that, a 0.2 molar barium nitrate solution. I'm gonna measure out 15 milliliters of this. All right, using, uh, looking at the bottom of the meniscus in my graduated cylinder, I have measured out exactly 15.0 milliliters of barium nitrate. And now I'm going to pour this into my mystery alum solution. I'm going to put a piece of white paper underneath it so you can see any, um, record any observations about color change. And here we go. And we'll also put it up against the black. Oh, maybe white is the wrong color to put there. There we go. So we went from a clear solution to one that is a milky white color. And bring this up close, maybe you can see. This is fairly opaque, like it doesn't look like there's a solid in there because it just looks like a, a white liquid now. Really our particle size is extremely small and we have little bits of solid precipitate um, that are, are there, but when it's this fine, it'll, it'll take quite a while to actually filter it. So we're going to try to flocculate it, which means we're gonna just heat this to a little bit of a boil. And that, that, that process of boiling will bring the particles um, closer together and collide and hopefully create a larger particle size for the barium sulfate that has precipitated in our reaction. So I've turned on my hot plate and I've set my solution. I'm going on top. I'm going to bring it to a simmer. I'm going to put a watch glass over it to make it heat more efficiently and to also make sure we don't lose any of our precipitate. And once this simmers, I'm going to let it kind of simmer for about 15 minutes so the particles can flocculate and form a larger particle size. Then we'll allow this to cool on the side before we filter it.